strong desire to protect history. I did it. I'm the greatest. We've got a school for honing your skills and a fully equipped item shop. Okay. Are you leaving this planet for no Why reason? Use your strength to help out a great no cause. <clears throat> You're always on the lookout for powerful warriors. Okay then. Listen carefully. To maintain safety here in Kanzan City, home to the Time Patrol, there are few okay. rules Woo. you must keep. It does. It's going to be a short stream tonight. Oh, no, wait, I gotta Time get patrollers to wishing to fly yeah. but not on duty? Uh, just never yeah. I'm going to be on short tonight. Yeah. Mostly because I'm actually kind of exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> Since I woke up, I got woken up. Oh repeatedly. no, I woke up at 8. Ah. I got woken up like three or four times okay. between then. Oh no, I got woke up multiple times. But yeah, so I, I was training Bolt up and doing some uh, PQ missions and dressed him accordingly. Ribbit? Ribbit, him too. Because Bolt's massive. Oh yeah, Bolt is, <laughs> Bolt is a large. He is not as large as large, but he is still a big. I think Bolt is as big as I could make him. Yeah, he was. <laughs> Because you may... No, 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 the original Fauna was as small as you could make her. And she was puny. Yay, viewers! Yay! One of them is you. Uh, yeah. Let's see if it's Anonymo. It is Anonymo! Hey, Anonymo! <laughs> How's it going? I kind of feel sorry for people who just like... Pop on without an account and have no idea what this is. And then it says, Hello, Anonymo! How are you? A new event has been announced. Oh, I got a gift. Oh! Where's the time space delivery? It's over there by the GM shop. Oh, it's a weekend. It is a weekend. Oh, hello, Griff. Hey, Griff. Griff says it's just Jeffrey. Well, that's Anonymous name now. Oh, I got a participation award. Oh, yay! For doing what? I don't know. Oh, well. You participated in this game. Hello, Selby. Oh, great. Both the viewer counters are broken. Oh? Yeah, the one on, uh... The screen still says two, and the one on the actual uh, screen uh, screen page says one. Excuse me. And Rob just sneezed all over my bathroom muffin. And schmoo game. Is that familiar? What? Do either of us know schmoo game? Spell it. S C H M O O G A M E. Nope. Okay. Hi. Hello, don't be a dirtbag. Oh. Oh, yeah, I think. I think that's the. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, never mind. No, it's just the regular Big Bang Kamehameha that won't fire until you fully charge it. Ah. Uh, oh, that's a. Times 100 Big Bang Kamehameha. Times 100 what? I don't know. Um. Yeah, you got a few coins to spare. You could totally buy it if there's no accessories or clothing you want. Yard direct clothes. Uh, baby, baby, dirt bag. Uh, no, Shmoo game, you don't have to watch your language. Well, be civil. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> ninja Turtle. Oh my god! <laughs> Nuclear Cyborg Ninja Turtle.
Yeah, Selfie, that is correct. Curses are fine, slurs are not. Also, don't scream at people. That is a surefire way to get yourself banned. I really wish I made a character that the yard and clothes went well with. Because the yard and clothes do not fit Target very well. Nor did they fit, uh... This clothing Sherbert. cannot be equipped. Um, human, I think. Uh, no, wait, t uh, turn on the sad things and go to it. Uh, right. Oh, ladies. Huh. Peculiar. That might be why we haven't got any ninja gloves. That could be right. Ugh. Ugh. I'm still gonna buy them. <laughs> that is so dumb. Oh, yeah. Selfie or singing is fine. <laughs> yeah, like I said, just post operation, uh, Rivet. Yeah, it's a little floaty. But yeah, like, go back to uh, Goku's Snow Gear. That just really showcases to me, like, how weird that head proportions are that uh, Toriyama draws. Because it's like 10% face, 80% forehead. Yeah. And like 10% just floating around there somewhere. No, it's not. Because <clears throat> his head okay, gets yeah, way head. bigger. Okay, yeah, the head's a bit big, but still, the fa his faces are tiny. Yeah, that's fair. Ah! <laughs> oh god, Goku would throw a really mean snowball. Ooh. Full power suit to save floor. This is amazing! You are amazing! Yeah. Nope. Oh no! Just give me huh. 20 million zennies gone. Uh, rip in peace, the best Z Soul ever. What did it do? It, like, doubled the amount of money you got from, uh, missions. Oh. <laughs> Is that not restricted to specific days? Uh, it's weekends. Like, every weekend the, uh, inventory swaps out on this game. Or on this, uh, this shop. Ah. That's why it's only available on the weekend. my ninja suit. Hello, crumpet boy. Wow, I have a lot of... Garbage. <laughs> you you want to be a nuclear cyborg ninja turtle? Yes. Fair. I was about to say, what's a CCG? I was about to say, if nothing else, you can change the color on that one. Yeah. Don't really need to. Oh, Shmoo Game pointed out a very good, uh, very good problem in our design. What's that? He doesn't have a turtle shell. If only you had a turtle shell to put on him. There we go. Better? Much better. <laughs> If I could be asked in any way, shape, or form... I, I already have given you 20 oh, million. Oh, okay, you are about that. Okay. It, but yeah, if I could be bothered and spare the time, I would totally put Go Ninja Go Ninja Go over this little segment. Go on. Thanks, John. To be fair, it was Griff's purpose to get a song stuck in your head. So I just helped her along. By getting the greatest song mankind has ever oh, created stuck in your head. Uh, times 100, Big Bang Kamehameha. <laughs> Sophie says it's like a nerdy backpack. It really is. Okay. 
Oh, uh, now I'm still sad that that uh, cool book bag, uh, or bag, or book shaped bag that uh, we found at, uh, not Pizza Hut, um, GameStop was, uh, I'm still really sad that that wasn't a backpack. Yeah. Because that, that would be a, that would be a strong backpack. Oh yeah, we fed the booze a bunch of garbage and sent them on their merry way. Repeatedly. Did I train with Cell already? No. Okay. I didn't um, see the trainer. I might be looking for the wrong thing. Hold stuff. Ow. Almost jumped to death on a McMuffin. Griff, you are correct. Bohemian Rhapsody is scientifically proven to be the greatest song to mankind. It is it a phenomenal song for testing musical equipment, or sound equipment. Yeah. It huh? hits basically every possible range. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Yep. Crumbit Boy, you are also correct. It would have been a book bag, backpack, uh, book bag, book bag. Ha! Huh. Do we know Crumpet Boy? I don't know. The name is new to me, which is why it amuses me so much. Also, it is impossible for me to mix up Crumpet Boy somehow. Like, uh... Unlike any other word in the English language? Exactly. Like, uh... Shmoo Game is also a name I should butcher immediately. But somehow... Uh, have not yet. Have not. Yet. Now, like, what was that one guy, like... Uranium Panther Oops. or whatever? From the... Oh, dear. Oh, well. Well, but yeah, I think you might actually get Cell as a uh, trainer after you do the next bit of the next piece of the story. But uranium uh, what? I don't know. It was like uranium panther or something, and you're like, oh, don't don't keep saying that, or you're gonna make him mad or something. It's his fault for having an unpronounceable username. Uh. I have no idea what you're talking about. It was like three weeks ago. Okay. Okay, Grumpet Boy has been here oh, once, there he but is. it was only Rob, so it was definitely a, uh, yeah. That's why I recognized it. Yeah, it, it was strictly the, uh, Xenoverse stream. Boop. Okay, Shmoo Game also follows you on the Tumblr. Ah. What is your name on there? If it's Shmoo Game and I just didn't realize, I apologize. Uh, no, that's Crumpet Boy. Oh. Uh, oh, Shmoo Game, Shmoo Game, Shmoo Game, Shmoo Game also follows you on uh, Tumblr. Okay. That's your new name now, Shmoo Game. Yay, Cell will train me. No. Maybe. Eventually. You're only because he is bored. <laughs> Ow. Did you... Okay. <laughs> you got two ready. Huh? You got two ready. Did no. We, uh, uh, all the, the joint snaps. Oh. The wire was stuck in my fat when I turned my uh, head up, and so it. Okay, I heard hugged snapping and crackles. I was cracking my neck. Oh yeah, also, also Rob, remember, you have gotten to the point where you're only getting three points per level again, so... Right. I think you have 30-some-odd left, because we leveled up a few times after we decided it was like 40. <laughs> <laughs> wow! That is fantastic. Oh, that one. Ow. Okay, Smoogie is just fine with me calling him that because Moogie is their uh, PSN name. Cool. And Crumpet Boy is fine with me butchering his name if I so feel fit. <laughs> if I see fit. See, he, he's not going to butcher it if he sees fit. Yeah. I'm in fact, he's going to fail to butcher it. Yeah, I'm going to butcher it inadvertently at some point in the future. Yeah. 
He's going to try to actually say it correctly, and that's when he'll butcher it. Yep. Because that's what John does. Mm-hmm. Stuff poorly. Mm-hmm. And also amazingly. I was about to say, or amazingly with no idea how it happened. The instant I no longer see any hope for you will be demoted from pupil to food. <laughs> That's fantastic. Uh, Shmoogie is Rowdy Rowdy Flower. Oh. Okay. I actually recognize that one. Cool. Uh. Oh darn it. I, I had something out. Oh yeah. My, my my favorite point of me doing something correctly and it utterly astonished Rob was uh Rob was telling me about Chew, the comic book. And he described the uh power classification that the people in Chew have, which was what was it again? Uh Sibopath is the what the primary character and the two big antagonists have. Yeah, but yeah, like Rob was like So the main character has Sip uh Sibop Sibopathy. Sibopathy. And he he is a syllable away from going into the script. He was like, oh yeah, so he like he gains powers by eating food and their memory and stuff. And he just looks at me horrified. He's like, how did you know that? I, I listen to Major Spoilers. Yeah. Uh, you you can purely blame uh, Matthew on that little bit of a uh, heart attackery. I'm pretty certain they've uh, reviewed at least the first book of Chew. Yeah, that, that's probably where I heard it. Although, good luck hitting Cell when he teaches you perfect shot. Because I think you have to hit... <laughs> I love how far they go, just like... Oh, yeah. I especially love it when you're either uh, at Kami's house or in the uh, open fields with all those pillow rocks. You know, either just go off of the edge of Kami's house and just vanish, or you just kick them through a rock. Yeah. In a, in and the they just keep field. going. Yeah. Like, they're just gone. They are the Horizon's fault. Guru's house is being attacked. Oh no! Now that I know you have a brain, I'll see how quickly you can grow. <laughs> God, I'm fucking tiny. Yeah. You did pick the tiniest Namekian. I did. But he's tiny beef. Remember? He, he is such small He's beef. the widest. Yeah. The instructions last Oh, there was two cells. No. Oh, nose. Oh, uh. Okay, so Crummy Boy is asking how everyone's doing. This is your chance, Could be worse. I no longer have freaking berry poisoning or a migraine. Yeah, that's my bad on both counts, at least partially. Uh. Oh, perfect shot. Yeah, perfect shot. Kind of like Big Bang. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, Griff is killing time before karaoke begins. What kind of karaoke are you going to, uh, Griff? Uh, like a proper karaoke place with like a booth and stuff, or like the garbage Western style karaoke place where it's just. You in front of everyone in the, like, restaurant. I like that karaoke style. I hate it. That's because you're embarrassed yeah. by your face. Yeah. Ow! Um, Ow. yes, Crumbit Boy, you should get Xenoverse 2. It is fun. It is good. It improves on a lot of things uh, from Xenoverse 1. With the exception of Super Vanishing Ball no longer tracks like a crazy person, and grabbing is super finicky. More original storyline. Uh -huh. 
uh, done by Toriyama. Mm -hmm. A little better character customization. Yeah. More tolerable item. Yep, that's part of the character customization. Fair. That was lethal. Uh, solid fighting game controls yeah. to begin with. With the exception of the throw. The exception of the throw is a little wonky. It was a little wonky in the other game too, though. Really? I was doing it every time I tried on the other game. I had some problem swinging no. it in combos. Mm, okay. Uh. -uh. Dude, Selby's parents they were making a lamb roast for him. Ooh. I have never had lamb. Really? My aunt uh, told me that she was going to give me like the next lamb she uh, wound up slaughtering in her little slaughter fest, and just never did. I, I wanted my haggis. <laughs> oh, no, wait, it's not haggis. It's a... Uh... Oh, God, what, what's the... Uh, what's the sheep version of haggis? thought it was haggis. Oh. Or not sheep, uh, lamb. Same thing. Lambs grow into sheep. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's like a Pokemon deal. Okay. Oh, yeah. Speaking of Pokemon, we've been deep into Pokemon for the past few days. Oh, God, yeah. I have a French Geodude. I, I have an all-American... Well, I have a half-French Geodude whose name is TX55 because it's the first Metal Gear model. Well, technically, the first Metal Gear would have been Z, but shut up, Metal Gear 1. <laughs> what do you mean the first Metal Gear would have been Zeke? Canonically speaking, the first Metal Gear built is Metal Gear Zeke, which is what Big Boss had built in Mother Base when they were having that getting sorted out because they needed a nuclear deter deterrent to make sure the uh, military of some other nation then just sweep in and try to steamroll them. So they still saw the love's design and turned it into a uh, practical weapon that then got stolen, broke, and then sank. Now, all right, beat him up and then throw the what? God, stupid. Okay, selfie back to you up. Well, specifically selfie Scottish mom back to you up. It is indeed haggis. Selfie's mom is Scottish? Yeah. Cool. I think both of Selfie's parents are Scottish. <laughs> Mutton, that's what I was thinking of. Mm. Mutton's good. Yeah. <laughs> so... Rambo boy says, uh, lamb leveled up. Lamb is evolving into sheep. And Griff continues with, sheep is evolving into dinner. Yum. And the next level is mutton and adds plus 10 to all defenses. <laughs> mutton is good. Lamb chops are good. Hummus is okay. I like hummus. Weirdly enough, that Haggis. Is... Haggis. Okay. That's what I was thinking. I get those two messed up in my brain. Fair, they're like a vowel apart. Pretty much. No, they're a consonant apart. They're both. Okay, yeah, they, they are both. They're three letters apart. Granted, it's a five letter word. A six, yeah, five letter word. <laughs> Bridge. Fridge. Oh no, my, my favorite one that I've seen is like the tiniest Arcosian you can make and his name was Mini Fridge. Yeah, I remember that one. That one was great. Yeah. There was also a uh, Arcosian I saw floating around named uh, Freezer. And like, my immediate thought was, oh, it's a fusion between Cooler and Frieza. Uh, and now I'm sad that that doesn't actually exist in canon. Oh, Mint wants to talk to you. Oh. Oh, he's gonna... Hey there. Oh, she. Oh, you could have been twinsies if you didn't decide to be a cyborg nuclear ninja turtle. 
Cyborg Nuclear Ninja Turtle. Yeah, I know. I, I wasn't saying you shouldn't have changed. It's Cyborg N Nuclear Ninja Turtle. She wants me to complete 20 expert missions. That sounds good. The expert missions are the ones in the big... The big bubbles of darkness. And yeah, the big dumb paint. bubbles of darkness. I was wondering when I was gonna land. Oh, okay. Okay. Selfie's mom is Scottish. Selfie's ah. dad is half Scottish, half Australian. Native uh, Australian or um prisoner Australian? Gen. So maybe prisoner? Yeah, I think prisoner. Boop. Uh <laughs> Uh, let's see. Okay, Crumpet Boy had a good name for his Frieza race. Hmm. Ice. E-Y-C-E. -E. I like that one. Yeah. I think that might have, uh... Yeah, I think that might have shown up in a uh, Frieza race name generator I came across. And then I just gave up and named him Sherbert, because that was Rob's uh, suggestion. And then it turns out that Sherbert is an actual character in both Dragon Ball and this game, apparently. I like, neither one is spelled as spelled like sorbet, like my character. Oh yeah, you just have to talk to Supreme Kai to advance the story. Yeah. <laughs> I've been waiting. I already forgot about that. Falafel. What is Falafel? Okay, Selfie so does confirm in his pr prison by saying. Why do you make Whitey White Australian? Huh? Yeah. That is all, all she told me was go do more. Uh, did you beat the Napa one? Yeah. Oh, okay, no, wait. Okay, yeah, that completed the side quest. Oh. Yeah. Uh, th this one was weird for me to figure out, but, uh, yeah. And I think after the next story mission, uh, you talk to Elder Kai about the TP medals, and you no longer have to worry about them. Okay. Oh. By the way. Yeah. Boop. Hello, dumbbells. Hi, dumbbells. Ooh, trunks. Yeah, trunks. Must have been making it ass that we all gather together. You know, I would love if, like, the names continued uh, through all of the generations and Goku, Goku Jr. wound up not fighting Vegeta Jr., which is that kid's actual name, but wound up fighting, like, Bikini Bottom or something like that. <laughs> Just, like, they're running out of underwear names. <laughs> Jockstrap. This is really true. Boy shorts. Boy shorts. Yay! An egg containing an entirely new time. You know, Trunks, those things you keep ruining. This is a cause for celebration. Um, Supreme Kai of Time, is this the emergency you were talking about? Yeah, we have to throw a big party! Oh my god. I see. Figuring there was some big change in history. You just don't get it! You don't get it at all! Do you know what this means? This is incredibly heavy news for our world! For every world ever! <laughs> huh. Vegeta Jr.'s actual name, Banana Hammock. <laughs> So he says banana hammock sounds so Dragon Ball. That's one heck of an egg, isn't it? Yeah. Or they just so run out of names that his that uh, Vegeta Jr.'s real name is just underwear.
What? You're a Saiyan. He's half Saiyan. Still! Yeah. I am surprised, however, that Vegeta and Goku Jr., both despite being like seven generations removed from a pure Saiyan, okay. still have enough like Saiyan genetics to achieve Super Saiyan. Hmm. Elder Kai, how the hell do you know what a phone is? He was around when they uh, first came out. Yeah, but he wasn't on Earth when they first came out. Or was he? No, he was stuck in the sewer. He wasn't like the Kai dimension. <laughs> he was trapped in a sword in a pocket dimension by Supreme Oh, Kai. God. Hi, Broly. Broly. Hi, Goku. Hi, Majin Tub. Excellent. I think actually after you beat the story mission, uh, you can get that Majin Tub as a uh, wearable Excellent. item. Nice. Yeah. So yeah, this is going to be a fun little boss fight for you. <laughs> Not too difficult. I mean, you're only fighting three supervillains at once. Turlas. Much more than diamond. Shmoogie Moo is shorter and simpler, but I'm a fan of I am a fan of Shmoogie. Sophie says it's one hell of a dominant scene. Hello, Karish. Hey, Karish. It's because he's a friggin' Saiyan. What? I mean, he just has the de facto Saiyan haircut and a tail. That doesn't mean anything. And Saiyan armor. And Bardock's headband. Well, that is Tola's take on Saiyan armor. Because you see it has a little neck thing that Mira has. Toa's kind of tiny. Yeah, she is. But I think uh, Mira is also the tallest, like, human sized creature. Beyond and Broly. also, she's next to Broly. Yeah. yeah so, so, honestly, there's not very good reference for how tall Toa actually is. Fair. However, I think she is a, about the size of the tallest uh, Arcosian. So, about an average human. <laughs> Ooh. A bit shorter than an average human. <laughs> oh, dang. Oh, that sucks, Breach. Two car crashes on I-80. And, close, and that closes effectively 40 miles of interstate. Yeah, that sounds about right. Get wrecked, Broly. Oh, That's the interstate that we were on this morning, by the way. Oh. Oh, darn. Griff, you're correct. This is not Skyrim. I forgot to change the uh, everything. Goku's down. Shit. That. Okay, fix. <laughs> Sophie says it's a really big mod. Hey, you see uh, that probably there was just a very well reskinned orc. Hmm. Um, 
Um, okay. Okay, now no, that now. question was aimed towards uh, Karish, not us. What was? Uh, if it was right after a US 2, where there's always a lot of traffic. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Eat death ball. Well, he ate it. Now he's his. But oh god, training with Broly is so. Like, he is as big of a like slab of meaty HP as you can imagine while training. I mean, all of his attacks do damage, but you're still having to like punch through two health bars. Oh great. Did you change my attacks? Oh god, I did. Yeah, sorry about that. Thanks. Wow, you just clipped Boo and took off a good chunk of health. Hey. Oh yeah. And that was without this going on. doesn't block the upcoming scene. Oh? Yeah, because I remember this like being one of the biggest Vegeta moments in Dragon Ball Z. When Vegeta... I don't remember this. <laughs> Vegeta butt. Now I remember it. Yep. The most giveable moment of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> the karate chop a child. I also want to say that's the first time Vegeta has used anyone's actual name. Yeah, I think you might uh, have used Goku. He's definitely called like, Gohan by name. Oh, okay. I was about to say, to their face. Yeah. Explicitly, when he, uh... They meet up after this time jump. He's like, Gohan. He was stronger as a kid. <laughs> yeah, Shmoogie says that, that was Vegeta's moment. Um, Shmugi also says Vegeta might have called Krillin by name. Yeah. I mean, I, I could understand why. I mean, Krillin has... Been He's had more interaction more, with Krillin yeah. than any other... Yeah, like anybody tried other to kill than Goku. so many times. Like, the only person who's tried to kill Krillin more was probably Frieza. <laughs> Frieza tried to kill Krillin, Krillin twice. And then and succeeded seated. on the second try. Yeah. Well, that was a short one. That wasn't an easy piece of history to revisit for. Um, yeah, that was still not the end of the Boo Saga. There is no time I think you still have two more missions. Yeah, we haven't done anything with the uh, Super Boo or... Or Kid. Or Kid Boo. Thank you. I'm proud. 
I'm still so upset that you can't get Trunks' Flight Time Patroller coat as a uh, item. I, I still don't care if you can't color it. Like it looks so cool. That was a short one. Oh yeah. Yeah, you know, like it has to give you time to uh, process your Vegeta feelings, or Vegelings, if you will. <laughs> Vegetable feelings. Yeah. Veggie feels. Guru's house is being attacked. Oh no! Guru's house is in danger. Oh dear lord! What's it mean when it's in danger? You have to fight Cooler and Frieza and Frieza's army to get the Dragon Balls back. Oh. Uh, there's the two nuts blue getting. Things. And I think there's something under or above the nuts. Oh wait, fly straight up. Like, stop talking, just fly straight up. Okay, stop. Look around. Okay, Brawly's not here yet. Okay. Brawly would have flown over and headbutted you if he was here. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, you're you're going to get to a point where um, you fight Broly in the. No, no, no. Okay, yeah, I think it is actually after this. Uh, after you finish the Boo Saga. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Say it then. Oh, this is the one where you get the uh, say a uh, say man headband with glasses down. You have to do an actual PQ to get it with the glasses up. Huh. <laughs> Anyone attacking your house is a little dumb. Just saying. What? Uh, Shmoogie, in reference to Guru's house is in danger. Or Guru's house is under attack, Guru's house is in danger. <laughs> And Griff says that, uh, Vajilings, it sounds very dirty. Fight! I, if I remember right... God damn it, I forgot to change the... I apologize. You gotta remind uh, me of these I am the John. cosmic aspect of apology. Hey, in like five minutes, can the chat remind me to remind Rob? Because I'm actually the only one looking at chat. You know what, Dumbbells, I am glad that you like the ads oh. on my stream because apparently they won't stop. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah, the uh... The Z rank for this mission is as you would expect. Take out the moves, then the uh, people, and then kill the revived people. I missed. Ow. Well, apparently my stream is the only stream that uh, makes dumbbells watch ads. Huh. That is really bizarre. Are we getting any money from that? No. Well, fuck them. Yeah, I know. Damn it, Nappa. Ow. There you go, eat Gallic Gun. Ow. Griff is giving you the sage advice of do a barrel roll. I don't know how to actually do the barrel roll. Like, it just kind of happens. Ow. Oh! Oh, poor oh. Nappa! Oh, poor Nappa! Jiminy Crickets! Ow. I love it when you clip with an ult and damn near kill someone with another ult. 
I won't let you get away with this! Um, yes, Dumbbells, I am uploading the uh, past streams to YouTube. So uh, if you wanted to watch them ad-free, uh, then that, would, that is totally a thing you can do. Mostly ad-free. Mostly ad-free. I, I do hit monetize on occasion, but... Well, like I said, I cannot tell you to not install Adblock. Oh, and it makes it. I'll take good care of you. You blocked me, son of a bitch. Roll initiative. Oh god, I bet a Dragon Ball tabletop would just be like min maxing the game. Hey guys, small mouth. You know what, you're correct. I accidentally broke that game once. But I didn't understand how our points work. So I had like three times the amount of health you, I was supposed to have with the points I spent. How? Because I didn't know what I was doing. And it was also a new system for uh, the DM. So he didn't catch on to my mistake. So I... So you... Did you math wrong or... Yes, I okay. mathed horribly wrong. So I accidentally cheated, had a bucket of health, and was the tank. I was a ranged tank. Well, actually, yeah, it wasn't ranged. I was like a, a, a red mage style character. Good. Pretty good. You do better than I thought. Part healer, part. Yep. Part healer, part uh, offense, or part uh, spells and special attacks, and part uh, melee. Well, red mage uses black and white magic. Yeah. And all. Ow. Don't they also use a? Uh, Weapons? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, Ty, uh, I, I was saying ad block, but what I actually meant was, you know, like, your uh, ad blocking uh, program of choice. It's just, ad block has now, like, entered the. Like, it has entered, like, band aid ter ter territory, where it's like. Okay, people say band aid when they Ow. mean, like, a bandage, but. You know, like, they'll say Band-Aid, or, uh... Okay, I was listening to an entire podcast where they talk about this. Uh, How Kleenex is, like, yeah, ridiculously yeah, yeah. fighting to make it so his Kleenex doesn't become, uh, oh, I colloquialism. Oh, had. Not quite. Oh, okay. Where am I... I can go to any of the three, can't I? Or how, yeah. in the heathen cities, uh, Coke has... How? What? Oh. oh your, your guard broke. Where's... Or, uh, I think you just have to go back to, uh, the central portion of the city. But I can get to... Oh, no. I'm at the pod line. Okay. Yeah. Or how, like, uh, heathen cities will say Coke instead of soda. Southern cities. Like I said, heathen cities. I hate that one so much, though. Um... But yeah, Dumbbell, so far I have a whopping 13 cents on uh, revenue, so I'm not getting, uh, I haven't actually gotten any money off of it. <laughs> uh, let's see, Book of Exalted Deeds did that to me my first time DMing. Oh, uh, someone accidentally munchkin? Oh, uh, no, there's no accident in that one. Oh, uh, every munchkin in uh, Exalted Deeds is intentional. Wow. Oh, well, yeah, Grib, like, mentioned around the time you mentioned it about the Kleenex thing. Oh, nice. Uh, and same with Aspirin. Okay, Grip is a lower level of Eason, saying that it is pop instead of soda. Friggin' Northerners. I will accept either. The whole term is soda pop, so... Yeah. Yeah, like, it's more tolerable than Coke. Or yeah. soft drink. I'll accept soft drink as well, because at least it's not a brand name. Yeah. Friggin' Goldo! Yeah, Ty unfortunately lives in the land of everything is Coke. Even Sprite. Uh, let's see. Okay, Griff hates the word pop. 
so that's fair. What's wrong with the word fuck? it ironically. Oh, that's garbage! Oh, okay, so every time an ad hits dumbbells, it, like, when the ad ends, it doesn't, uh, start where the string currently is. It starts back where the ad started. Oh, that's just stupid. Yeah, like, it is acting like a YouTube ad. I would complain to Twitch about that one. Yeah. Like, that just seems counter to the entire idea of the yeah. service. Oh. Okay, I was about to say. Did you charge? Yeah. Oh, okay. But, oh, son of a bitch. Oh, I got new supporters. Oh. Evil cannot stand. I am Gohan. Gohan, you're so cool. Wait, you're that little brat? I remember you. Hi, Frieza. <laughs> That's just how the Arcosians say hello. By kicking you 18 times in the shoulder. That didn't do anything to him, did it? Okay, Grip is a proper heathen that says soda. A proper heathen? Yeah. Catch, Frieza. But not nearly as strong as me. <laughs> says if Videl does any damage to Frieza, they're buying this game. <laughs> and Kai does not like this mission. What's wrong with this mission? I don't know. I, I prefer it way the hell more than Gilhan's, uh... What the hell? Uh, that it? hit. Something. Didn't hit Frieza, but it sure as hell hit something. But yeah, like, I much prefer this mission than the, uh, Hey, Revive Everyone mission. My god, Cybermen sucked in that one. Oh, hey, uh, okay, yeah, Dumbbells, that, is, that one is the worst. When Which you're in a customer or food service and someone comes up and just asks for a drink. And either doesn't specify when you ask or refuses to specify. What do you mean refuses to specify? Like they start being a smartass and I was like, okay, which drink did you want? Oh, you know, a drink. Which drink did you want? A drink? Okay, I'm going to get you a soda and fill it with cream, are you shitbird? No I don't tell them that. Now, but then they get it and they take a big dumb swig of it and they realize the mistake they have made. Or they are, make, they are messing with someone who does not care. Where's Cell? Oh. No, uh, he's around. Why is he just... Because he's waiting for you to make the first move. Oh, okay. I would have loved it if he just teleported away that instant. Also, holy hell! I'm also on the Damn Times it. 20 Kamehameha. Yeah, but... Kale Ken. Times 10, or Times 20 Kale Ken with Times 100 Big Bang Kamehameha. Yeah. So that's Times 2000 Big Bang Kamehameha. God damn it, Cell! Hold fucking still! He's not even attacking. No, no, this is impossible. My perfect form should be invincible. <laughs> Yay! Oop. What? Oh god, no, okay, so yeah, when Griff was in high school, she was in the uh, AV club, and they were doing a graduation project. And this... This a shrimpy tweaker kid, when asked what his favorite thing was, he just goes, My favorite thing was pop! Or, what's the pop? So she just edited it so that he was saying it over and over again. So it was, My favorite thing was the pop! 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 And uh, apparently just ruined him. Um, uh, no, uh... No, uh... Kai, this is not that mission. This was uh, the random encounter mission after uh, doing the Vegeta sacrifice uh, story mission. 
Like they are, yeah, it's the one where you meet Sam Man one and two on the. Uh... Oh, this was this was a mistake. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah, that was a mistake. You are almost dead. Yeah, I know. You're practically dead. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Pow. Still fine. Um. Oh yeah, yeah no, 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 uh, Ty, you you are right. This is the one where they were standing in the resort district. I got distracted before I could finish reading your thing. Uh. Oh god, cooler. There's no killing. Overkill. How is he not dead from that? There we go. <laughs> Ty says there is no such thing as overkill. There is only open fire and I need to reload. Oh, they took out Frieza by themselves. Yeah, go Videl! Oh god, and they're all alive again. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, like you already got the clear, right? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, now you're just trying to Z rank. Shmoogie says, eh, nah, you'll be fine. Okay, yeah, Ty had, did not have a fun time on this mission, but somehow Z ranked it. Okay, so Cell and Frieza reviving was uh, why uh, Ty hates this mission. To be fair, they are very. Oh shit, I've only got them less than a minute. Yeah. Yeah, this. this this is a tough mission to beat when you're not max level. <laughs> oh god. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. There we go. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, I think the same thing happened with the uh, Yamcha mission that wrecked me. Like, I timed out because I could not beat him, and then. Uh, and but I still beat the mission because I finished the uh, first set of uh, of the encounter. God damn it, Frieza, just go down. Is Zell even still alive? Yep, there he is. He's fighting with the uh, Saiyaman. I think he was just fighting with the Dell. Oh. Yeah, because I've got Gohan right here. Oh, wow. Okay, go. Mm. Okay, as soon as you KO him. Okay, what's Zell's help, health at? I don't know. Quick, get over there. I couldn't. Oh. Well, but that was doing damage to Cell, who is more of a threat than uh, Frieza. So, Shmoogie, you gotta buy this game now. Instructor joined the front? When? Oh, that must have been why Frieza showed up. Oh, Frieza showed up? Yeah. I was looking like, at the chat. First form Frieza. Oh, and promptly got murdered, I'm assuming? I guess. <laughs> I thought he was just another bad guy because he showed up at the exact same time as the uh, revivals. Oh. Or is uh, Cell and Cooler. Oh, that's weird. Keep hearing the Colossus power-up noise from X-Men Arcade. Right. Oh, okay. Pretty certain that's what it was. <laughs> now Shimugi has to juggle his Universe 2, Resident Evil 5, Fallout 4, and NHL 17. Man. That's, that's a lot to juggle. Yeah. Those two. Uh, yeah, Ty is salty that because of the revived uh, freeze and cell, uh, she couldn't get her her uh, ultimate finish. Was I doing key blast supers or? Uh, yeah, I think I suggested key blast supers because you do do a lot of key blast supers. Uh, yeah. Also, you have got over a hundred in your two base skills. Oh, it's Friday. Is it? It's Saturday. Mother flipper! Yep. Screw you, Volga, I'm blaming you! Super Frieza. Super Frieza. That's not bad. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, okay, Nerdling did promptly remind me to change your powers. 
after you remembered yourself. Well. Yay! Teamwork! <laughs> did I, I got rid of Spirit Bomb, didn't I? Uh, I think I did. I don't know, let's just go through your friggin' list of stuff. <laughs> did I have Bomber DX still? Okay, Ty, but that lady does require it to be Friday. And it is now Saturday. For like seven minutes. I am upset that you couldn't beat that seven minutes quicker. I am upset that I forgot about it. Yeah, me too, honestly. I I've been too distracted with brainstorming what kind of garbage I can do with the Orgish demigod Tabitha. Ooh, oh, yeah, you. Ugh. Excuse me. You got Cell stuff. Did you finish with Cell? Yeah. Okay. Again, I was looking at the chat. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, no, Selfie, Tabitha does not have a wife yet. Uh, I'm still trying to decide. There was... Okay, so, um, Curly Fries, the, uh, Flame Atronach that, uh, I've summoned permanently. Uh, there is a mod someone made where they made a Flame Atronach companion who is marriageable now, but that mod does not work because I'm using Skyrim Special Edition and not Vanilla Skyrim. Aww. So yeah, no no marriageable aspect of Hellfire. Uh, I think there is a nice orcish barbarian chief, chieftain lady in one of the orcish strongholds that's marriageable. Well, she's marriageable at least after you, uh, I think you kill the person she was betrothed with or just beat his face in. I don't know. Either way... Oh, great. Now, not say a man is hiding in the bush. That is a creepy place for a player character to be. Why? Why not? Fair. Uh, let's see. Um, actually, Dumbbells, you do not need mods to make Vampire Waifu your actual waifu. She is marriageable. No, wait, no, she isn't. No, I was thinking of something else. You probably can with mods. Oh god, Ty, you're up to six universe characters now? I'm at... Two. Five, if you include Xenoverse okay, One. Okay, if you include Xenoverse One, yeah. Um, I am at... I am also at five. No, wait, yeah, I'm at five if you count the ones I've made. No, six if you count the ones I made. And seven if you count the one on my profile that Rob made. Right. I, however, am counting Worst Kai as I technically made him, even though he's on your account. <sighs> worst Kai is amazing. He has all the worst skills. Prepare to be knocked around like a cat. Like, a ball for a cat right now. This is going to be fun. <laughs> 30,000 zenny? Yeah. 30,000 zenny. It's okay, you can just spawn in more zenny. Oh, wait, no, you can't. <laughs> You're a dirtbag. Yeah, I am. Um, oh, Grim started a, a new Chrono Trigger save. Nice. I still need to beat that game. Me I still need to beat the first too. boss of that game. I could not figure out the battle system. Let's see. Oh, wow, Shimugi's trying to be the number, uh, or the top 50 worldwide in one aspect of hockey. So, good luck with that, buddy. Dumbbells has used up all of uh, her Xenoverse 2 slots. How many slots are there? Many, I'm assuming. Uh, let's see. Okay, Ty has one of each race plus a spare human that she doesn't really play. And Ty hates this fight. Yeah, I can understand why. Yeah. Like, it's real obnoxious because you want to take them out one by one so there's less to deal with, but they don't really let you have that option. Uh, let's see. 
Selfie has yet to return to Witcher 3. It haunts him. The first, the first Witcher haunts Karish. I'm assuming the jiggling psychotropic uh, physics of the dwarf here is what. Oh yeah, you hit multiple. Is uh, what haunts Karish. Oh, okay, there's only like ten or so slots for uh, characters in the universe too. Oh. Uh, let's see, Griff would rather watch hockey instead of football because football is a sin where uh, she comes from. Huh? Because Pittsburgh. Wait, is it Pittsburgh or Philadelphia? For Selfie? Uh, no, uh, for Griff. For, for Griff? Yeah, yeah, obviously not Selfie. Derp. Yeah, because there it would be Gridiron, because that's the proper cool name. I was so waiting for that boot, for that Majin behind you to, yep. Do that. <laughs> I expected him to do that, like, while, while you were Dumbass. doing the death beam. Ow! Uh, okay, Dumbbells also has a roommate who plays. Um, Ty's roommate has their own PS4 and, uh, game, copy of the game, so. I'm, I'm guessing you two just co-op. Okay, everyone in the chat is saying how far superior ha! hockey is. Did you throw him? How far superior who is? Uh, hockey. Oh. As opposed to football. I almost called football not baseball. So why is football sin where Griff is from? Uh, because Pittsburgh. Oh. Oh no, hockey is a sin. Only football. Ah. Isn't Pittsburgh the home of the Penguins? I don't know. I'm asking I'm the person who lives there, you dumb shit. I'm not entirely sure it's Pittsburgh. It could very well be Pennsylvania. Pittsburgh's in Pennsylvania. You're in Pennsylvania. Okay, where did we go I'm in, in uh, where would we where did we go into and then out of in uh, Last of Us? I think it was Pittsburgh. Oh, okay. Is it Pittsburgh or Philadelphia? I don't remember. <laughs> I'm waiting for Griff to answer us. Or more pro more probably more <laughs> accurately, uh, I'm waiting for you to read her answer. Uh-huh. Uh, let's see. Okay, I think. Back to story? Yes. Because I believe you have finished everything until story happens. Uh, let's see. Griff has replied with. You should know why hockey is a sin where I'm from, because I'm where he is. Who? Hmm. Uh, no, I... Okay, repeat what the hell you said. Rob should know why hockey is a sin, because I am... I am where he is. Uh, Pittsburgh is the home of the Penguins, says Shmoogie. I don't understand Griff's statement. I am the Oh, okay, I apologize, uh, Griffin Hart. Oh, that's not Griff. Oh. That's a different Griff. Oh, you're not from Pittsburgh. Griffin Hart, who are you? That's Jeffrey. Jeffrey? Jeff. Oh, Jeff. I'm pretty certain. Okay. Hello. Hello. Okay. Yeah, Jeff, you're no longer Griff, you're Jeff. We already have one too many Griffs. Or Jerf. Jerf, okay. Jerf and his ability to write is uh questionable. Ah. Uh. Thus Jerf. I have simultaneously not been paying attention to the game and not been paying attention to the chat, apparently. Yeah, I don't know how you pulled that off. I, like I said, I am good at some things. Also, Jerf, your name is Orange, which is uh, typically Griff's color. 
There's another person who goes by Griffin Thief. Yeah. <laughs> and Shimugi is French, therefore their uh, ability to English is questionable. Yep. Probably better than John's. Yeah. Like more. Oh, I forgot that I had barbecue dipping sauce. Kind of tempted to drink it now. Do it. Okay. That's all the encouragement I needed. Really? Yeah. That dwarf says I ride just fine. Looks just like a third grader's. And your F's and R's are basically the same thing. Um. Oh God, I have a. I have a letter that I. Yeah, my capital H's and my T's are the exact same. So it is very hard for uh, some people to figure out, like, when I'm writing, like, whether I'm writing, like... Two T's or an H? Yeah. So someone honestly thought my last name was Tusky at one point. Tusky? Tusky. They thought I put two lowercase T's as the first letters of my last name. But you would capitalize it. Yeah, I know. That, that's, what made, that's what weirded me out. But apparently they had seen me write T, you know, double T so often that they were just like, okay, that that's obviously a T. Or that's obviously a pair of T's. Okay, uh, Jorfrey said, uh, just came into a bug rob. Huh. But yes, hockey is a sin here. Hmm. Well, oh no, I was going to say, well, of course, there's nothing to ski on but the corn, and then I remembered that we are out of Nebraska. Yeah. There's nothing to ski on but the lack of trees here. Oh, Ty, you reminded me. That actually was one of my teachers that uh, thought that. Yeah, Ty's uh, handwriting is apparently so atrocious that uh, their uh, 12th grade English lit teacher made uh, made her type all her assignments. Nice. Yeah, it would suck if Boo ate Mira. I mean, that's totally not going to happen, but it would really suck if it did. John. Yes? Did you really just... What? <sighs> what? Why would I spoiler a thing? To make me twitch? Fair. But you're already twitching. Am I? What, what, what Ooh, side are we snack. putting this on? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, Karish says corn is where I'm at. Wow. What? Apparently, Ty's classmate kept asking her uh, if uh, she was writing in Arabic or Hebrew or Elvish. <laughs> that is some impressive, uh, one, some impressively well read uh, classmates to assume like legitimate languages before the fake ones. And uh, two, the severity of garbage penmanship. And that is impressive. Dumbbell says my Hangul is easier to read than my English. Is Hangul a fake word, a fake language? I don't think so. Is it the uh, written language in uh, the Philippines? Actually, or I have South the, Pacific somewhere? I have the free library of Alexandria on my crotch. I can just check. Okay, let's see. Oh, hang Okay. Ow. Korean alphabet. Oh. Nice. Oh yeah, Ty. I've seen your hand, your uh, handwriting meme. You 
actually have far better penmanship than me. Ah. Ah, you stupid putty person. Okay, that barbecue sauce actually wasn't that bad. Yeah, it's because it's a tangy one. Yeah. Okay, false grip says uh, he's got a couple briskets cooking. Ooh. When's dinner tomorrow, Jeff? Yeah, you know, I actually kind of like the uh, name false grip. False grip. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna be pushing false grip. <laughs> Yay, there's a Gohan. Yay, maximum potential Gohan. Ow. Oh yeah, so there was a thing I was going to talk about, but I was going to wait for the stream to start, and then probably forgotten about it. The anti-grip. Full like grip. The anti-grip. Full gr full grip. That, that's a strong one. Oh god. But, uh, but yeah, so anyhow, in Pokemon Sun and Moon, when you eventually made it to a Team Skull's hideout, there is a uh, cross-stitched, uh, yeah, cross-stitched, like, plaque on the wall. If you go up and read it, it says, Bless oh, this it. wretched hive of scum and villainy. Also, I found a really, uh, yeah, I already showed this post to Rob, but it's a very amusing post that says, uh, Pokemon NPCs. Pokemon are help one friendly to humans. The Pokedex. This shitfuck revels in the skinning of its victims alive, storing their bodies in caves. <laughs> no, it's okay, just beat Broly. You know, the, the most jobber of Dragon Ball villains. The most what? Jobber. Uh, Mook. Oh. He is the most mooky. That big buffman. Oh! That would have. I just... like that he waited for you to finish. Well, like, yeah, like. Broly might be a horrible, colossal, like, mutant freak of nature murder machine, but he's polite. Ow. Hey! Lazordo Grivenheart. Yeah, Lazordo. What's that? It is his default character for RPGs. Oh. Okay. Kind of like your Todeco. Oh, okay. Similar personality, too, actually. I was about to say, Todeco actually isn't my go to for RPGs. Like, uh, the go to is actually the character I get my online namesake from, which is Krim, who is just a Dork Lord Knight guy. Like, Tadeko's the one I've drawn the most, like, recently, because he's just, he is a suit of armor, and he's, ju he is oblivious justice, and it's kind of fun to, just, to just poop around with him. That worked. Uh, Karish, I can send you the link to the picture. Or at least the link to the picture of the diet of the... I did not do well in that fight, apparently. Oh my god, that is fantastic. What? No, just a couple of gifts from, uh, Power Rangers Ninja Storm, and all the Power Rangers are surrounded by that season's versions of the putties. And Yellow Ranger's like, Whoa, who do we fight? And Red Ranger replies with, Anyone not wearing a primary color? <laughs> Oh, that is fantastic. I love that. I, uh, okay, so, yeah, like, a lot of, uh, Power I mean, Rangers hell. is kind of This very is hell, miss. right? No, this is not cell. This is, you're hell. Be, oh, oh, yeah, this, this no, it's not hell, it's A-I-G-F-L. Okay, home H-F-I-L? Yeah. Home for Infinite Losers? Angel from the Underworld. Janemba. Janemba. Well, he looks pleasant. Yeah, he's apparently like a weird predecessor to Boo. Like, he has Boo's same like level of evolution of big fat dopey guy, and then like hardcore badass muscle men. 
Okay, Karish, you are going to re you're going to receive this link about five seconds or about a half minute before I say this. But here's the link to the cross stitching pattern. <laughs> That's Mr. Colossal Murderer. Wow. Selfie, Krim is not crap. Krim is more competent than crap. Crap is amazing. Crap is amazing, and I feel sorry for the poor DM that allows me to play him. Uh, but oh god, yeah, well, while I was uh, talking to crap, uh, I think Rex on our way home from something. Uh... Oh, that bad. Like, I finally me. decided that Crap's primary job is going to be Bard. And his instruments are going to be a, uh, are going to be a pair of maracas. Shuck, but, shuck, shuck. but they're actually just like two drumsticks. You know, like turkey drumsticks. Or something along those lines. Like, they're not a usable instrument. And he does not make shaky, shaky maraca sounds. Like, he starts shaking the uh, maracas and just making the, like, making instrument noises with his mouth. Like, <laughs> or garbage like that, and, oh, uh, that's just fantastic. And no way. Also, as long as he is using the quote-unquote maracas to uh, do his bard spells, he can beatbox really good. However, if you ask him to beatbox without playing his maracas, he can't do it worth a damn. That being said, I as an individual cannot beatbox worth a damn. So, all the beatboxing will strictly be through narration with a uh, crap. <laughs> Selby loves crap so much. This crap is amazing. Oh no! Karish had to uh, re restart or reload the chat. Okay. There you go, Karish. Take two. Um, Nerdling's go-to name for games is Zaref and Zaref. Zaref and Zaref. Okay. Oh. Oh, I was about to commend Griff, but it's Faux Griff. Oh. Faux Griff made a, a bar that used air guitar for a performance. I remember that one. You're not gonna hit your Nemo with Gallic Gun. Oh. You you think he's some kind of chode that's gonna get hit with that? Fine, I'll take this. <laughs> or not. Thanks, Vegeta. Vegeta is 100% the reason that missed. Oh no, I think he's actually reached his damage threshold. Yep. <laughs> that was his damage Same. threshold. You were saying? He was getting hit and John, not taking damage. Okay? John, you were saying? I, I, no, Vegeta was saying. <laughs> emphasis, on, the emphasis on was. He is hella dead right now. <laughs> oh, look, that movie spam. Final flash? Yeah. Or actually, the movie spam. Oh, God. Okay, so yeah, Ty. Another thing about Xenoverse 2 that's better the Super Saiyans don't spam fucking everything, they don't spam their ults. But yeah, uh, Ty, fair warning if you ever play Xenoverse 1. Every mission where you have to fight a Super Saiyan is grueling because they will spam all of their moves because the Super Saiyan uh, level up, or the Super Saiyan ability in Xenoverse 1 gives you infinite key. So, you know, like worst case scenario, or best case scenario, you get uh, Gohan going, uh, Masenko! 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 Worst case scenario, you have Goku. Gohan and Goten all doing Kamehameha all the time. Fuck that mission. I still haven't beaten that mission. Oh, uh, nothing new popped up. Oh no, you have to actually beat this this chunk of the story. Okay, yeah. Af after this conversation, you can just spend all your TP. Um, Bogriff's recent character is a dwarven monk named Wilhelm, whose character concept is Lucha Libre. Hmm. Okay, Dumbbells posted the most homely of cross-stitching patterns. 
Is it eat a dick? Nope, it's embrace your inner skank hmm. with Hello Kitty. And whenever Fogriff does anything reckless, he plays the Wilhelm scream over his phone. Yeah. Oh yeah, you remember the uh, werewolf I was telling you about earlier? Oh yeah! Specifically Jack Jack. Yeah, Jack Jack! Jeff, why don't you tell him what you told Jack Jack to do? Oh dear. Jeff was a Thurge, by the way. Thurge was, which one again? The Healers, oh. the Mystics. Oh, this seems like it's gonna end very well for everyone involved. Yeah, way to get beat down there, Trunks. Oh, nerds. Okay, so here is a problem we will now have. Hmm. This mission, the last three fights in this mission are all blocked. However, the following mission is not blocked. However, after that mission is blocked. So we're about to approach the end we of the... We're about to approach the end of the story portion of the stream. Uh, but that's okay. There's going to be like 12 freaking trainers show up. Oh, look at this mission again. But they cut straight to the end. Yay. However, oh Kid Boo is roughly twice as powerful and has three health bars. <laughs> ah. Duncan, Duncan O'Malley? Is that what he told the, uh, Gen Jeb? Jack Jack. Jack Jack. Oh, God. He taunted her. Oh, that... That sounds like an amazing thing to do for the healer. <laughs> oh, Dumbbells is asking if we get John commentary then. Oh, yes. Oh, he dodged. Yeah, I forgot. Rob's going to be focusing on the fight because screw this fuck coming up. I think I actually had to stop and... I might have had to have had to level after this fight. Or no no, I had to Yeah, I got I got my ass kicked in by a boo here. And then I had to go in and re-equip uh, healing items because I had ran out. But yeah, oh god, yeah, you're you're gonna be too distracted with the fight, so I'm just gonna be able to say whatever about the block scene. Still, okay, so if you're still bitter that I still haven't a chance to play Bean the Regenade Botanist. Oh, oh yeah, Bean! Yeah, Bean team super cool. Okay, so Fogriff says she had just finished killing a member of our scouting party. She let out a howl, something along the lines of, you will all bow, bow your knees in pain and anguish and worship me. Now I shout it back, no, you're gonna get on your knees and, oh, okay, that's rude. <laughs> yep. Uh, I have no idea what IRC RP is. Uh, post and go. Play by post? Oh, play by post, okay. Yeah, I never had the uh, play by post. Oh, no, yeah, I did. Yeah, I, I had one instance of a play by post. And uh, then I lost internet because parents stopped paying for things. And I was like 14 and had no job. Oh, wow. Okay, so apparently what Fogriff said was supposed to be out of context, but the DM took it as in character. Yup. Oh, Gaia Online message board. <laughs> A 
like me, Selfie did not proofread the uh, rude comment and kind of had a similar reaction to me. Wow, but Kid Boo is a sturdy little bugger. I don't know what kind of buff being a Kid Boo gets you. That's Majin. Yep. Back to the kicker fight. <laughs> You guys almost got mauled by bunny shifters. Yeah. Uh, the bunny shifters in Apocalypse uh, were a later supplement. They were how the shifter races uh, reproduced in the past. Okay. Uh, bunnies. Yeah. Uh, and they have a uh, festival every other year. Or not every other year. Every, yeah. Uh, yeah, Orgy Fest, I'm aware. Yeah, the Orgy Fest. And all the women go crazy. Yeah. And all the men run for their lives. Nah. Uh, a number of us got caught. Wow. Yeah. Good job, people. Yeah. Good job, friggin' alpha predators. <laughs> I do hope you will keep that up. Uh, that's when Willie participated in the uh, contest that he shouldn't have. The, oh, the because uh, the festival starts with, with a huge contest. No. Oh, okay. It was uh, dealing with death was on the way to that. Oh. That was kind of a side thing that uh, we didn't realize was going to happen. Dealing with death was after that when we all got TP No, because uh, the bunny shifters were all in the uh, death realm. That seems like, okay, the death realm seems like a bad place to hold Orgy Fest. Uh, it's the spirit realm. They uh, were hiding there for safety because they'd been there for a couple centuries or something. Okay. Oh. All oh, right. It's okay, so yeah. Team. Okay, so yeah. Elder Kai has been tending to the wounded trunks, mm -hmm. and they're now giving you a phone call, telling you that uh, Mira and Jan Jan Janemba are doing stuff uh, with someone else. Yeah, with someone else. And um, yeah, they're they're really building up their strength. Uh, yeah, uh, they're they're planning on exploding it somewhere. <laughs> and um Rivet is freaking the fuck out. Rivet is freaking out. And Yeah, let's see, uh ah. there's also some voyeurism on Rivet and his dealings with the Saiyans and Kid Boo. Rivet's chasing down the voyeur. And they're gone. It really happened it, like when when Rivet reached out for the voyeur, like it started going slow mo, Sakura petals started falling down. It was very romantic. And let's see, now there's We're Goku. Fight Beerus. Yeah, there's Goku with some kind of Catman in orbit. The Catman's not too healthy. Um, he's very impressed with how well Goku took it. And Rivet and uh, the Voyeur just interrupted them. Which isn't good, because Beerus. Yeah, Catman Dude is very angry. Defeat all enemies. Defeat all the enemies, Rob. Whoop them. Uh, marshmallow dance party. Okay, I forgot about the marshmallow dance party. Uh, I wish interesting things like that happened in the game. Uh, those marshmallows are so damn glad to be there. Oh, yeah, they are the happiest marshmallows. Like, they are getting a kick out of this fight that you guys can't see. Like, it is amazing. Like, Rivet is red now. He's throwing his purple balls all over the place. Just exploded all over the Masked Saiyan. Like, it is a good thing he is wearing a mask. Um, yeah. Masked Saiyan exploded all over Rivet. Rivet, unfortunately, does not have a mask. Uh, Rivet's out of stamina. Like, he is just winded from the exertion going on here. Like, his... His stretchy ah. limbs are not helping him at all. God damn it! Hold still, you piece of shit! He's just getting the back beating of a lifetime. 
Like, he's suffering so many status effects right now. You dodged and still got hit! I dodged straight into his fucking elbow. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. What the fuck? <laughs> Okay, uh -oh. the force of Rivet's explosions have finally broken the mask. It's Bardock. Dun, surprise, dun, dun. Surprise. Oh, God. Mira just kicked Rivet in the face. Nothing sexual there. Just pure hatred. Like, he just really does not like Rob's face. Uh, Rivet is... Uh, not Rivet. Uh, Bardock is also gone. Like, Bardock has tied out... Or, tapped out because, uh... Exhaustion. Uh, Catman Do and Goku are doing their own thing. Rivet just took a friggin' double Sunday to the groin and did not care. Mira's being very polite. Ow, ow. Oh, okay, no, it was Galagun. Okay, well, Mira was being very polite. And, uh, let. Oh, Jesus. I think I figured out how to use that. Yeah, just lured him into He just took a hundred times Big Bang Kamehameha to the face. And depleted a vast majority of Mira's health bar. However, he is almost out of stamina. Um, but yeah, you know, like I said, Kamehameha and uh, Goku are still doing their thing. Uh, Mira continues to just wail on Rivet. Uh, it is amazing that Rivet... Okay, Rivet won. Yeah, I... By punching Mira in his buttocks. Mira is still not impressed. Well, it's, it, I, I attack from behind like 90% of the time, yeah, and since I'm as short as it can be, the buttocks is usually where I reach. And, yeah, and it doesn't help that Mira is as tall as can be. It does not. Uh, <laughs> Shmoogie says you didn't duck hard enough for uh, for getting elbowed in, in the face into oblivion. Yeah. Well, I didn't duck. <laughs> I vanished and reappeared in the same spot. Yeah, that was amazing! Well, Catman do is pissy. Yeah. Uh, Shmoogie is wondering if you play Street Fighter. No. I, I, I've played it. It's not like I haven't... It's, um, it's, it's a classic series, but... Yeah, yeah Catman do is powering up. Oh, wait, are we gonna get the bug audio? Okay, so the Supreme Guy of Time teleported a box into Rivet's hands. Rivet's delivering it to Katmandu. Katmandu's excited. It's pudding! It's like eight jars. Why are they jars? Like, that is a bizarre thing to me as an American. Uh, uh, it might not actually be pudding. Goku's asking for the Catman's pudding. Catman is offering the pudding to the bad guys. Bad guys don't care because they're bad guys. Bad guys are gone. Rivet's angered. Wiss wants pudding. Supreme Guy of Time made the pudding. The pudding is apparently toxic. Where does that Japanese trope come from of woman who cooks but only makes poison? Uh, Japan. Yeah, uh, yeah I know the general, but what caused that I don't trope? Know. Weiss is asking for my help. Yeah, yeah, Katmandu is angered once again. Rob now has to fight him because of pudding poisoning. Some pretty cool music playing. Rob got kicked in the face. Weiss countered with a fireball. Katmandu is unimpressed with everything going on. He is dodging everything and punching Rob and kicking Rob in the back of the face. Weiss is no help whatsoever. Like he was good for that one fireball and that was it. Also, Beerus has several health bars. He is still on health bar green. <laughs> uh, oh god, the chat's been happening. Yeah. 
This is really weird audio to hear without visuals. That is the point. Uh, oh, we're not even going to splice anything into this one, are we? No. Uh, let's see. Uh, people are talking about how they used to play uh, Soul Calibur and Bloody Roar and Primal Rage. I played Soul Calibur and Primal Rage. I don't know Bloody Roar. Uh, Bloody Roar is the same thing as Primal Rage, I think. Or No, Bloody Roar is uh, where the people turn into animals. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dumbbells thought of this as pure and uh, wholesome audio before Selfie pointed out that it was all innuendo. <laughs> oh god, Kamandu is just wailing on Rivet. Rivet has almost depleted two-thirds of Kamandu's first health bar. Kamandu has almost killed two of Rivet's health bars. Or no, one go. of Rivet's health bars. Rivet only has two. Okay, so proportionally speaking, you're doing far better. No way, he's doing way better. You were saying? He still has more health than you. I think proportionally you two might be about even. Okay, I think you might be technically winning at this point. Wow, that missed by a mile. Uh, that's because I lost my lock on. Yeah. Because he was halfway across space. Okay, Weez is now getting pounded from behind by Kathmandu. Uh, Kathmandu refuses to be pounded by from behind by Rivet. Uh, counters are happening left, right, and center. Ah! Screw you, Africa! Rob just fired a Gallic gun full blast at Africa. Or a continent I think is vaguely Africa shaped. I just realized that, uh, the world of Dragon Ball has bizarre continents. Whis is just getting wailed Ow. on. Okay, yep. Um, yeah. Ow. Kathmandu is having none of your death slice or garbage. Bloody counter work to some degree. Oh, oh. Throwing works really well. Oh yeah, throwing is fantastic when it hits. Fire to death ball, fire to death ball, fire to death ball. I'm working on fire it. Fire to death ball. Yeah, oh, you got need it. it. I need it. Oh. <laughs> Luckily, the sun that Beerus threw just detonated safely in the upper atmosphere. No terrible EMP-style repercussions to be had, I'm sure. Eh, Dragon made it EMP impenetrable. <laughs> Dragon Balls. Hey, Beerus has calmed down. Yay! He has gotten over his uh, pudding poisoning. And is now tired. Okay, uh, Bo Griff says Bloody Roar was the game that had the shifters. Uh, the ping one that surfed on people's faces. Huh? Uh, just trying to describe Bloody Roar so you'd know what oh. it was. It was the game with the furries. Uh, Dumbbell says my poor innocent mind. Uh, Shmooby quotes me as saying, uh, Weiss is getting pounded in the back. Uh, Rose says, boy, I stopped in a visually thrilling time. So, hello, Rose. Hi, Rose. I, I hope you enjoy uh, the commentary and the dancing ma uh, marshmallows. They will stop here shortly. Going back to Canton City. Going back to Canton. I'm assuming. Probably. Yeah, like 90% chance. Also, I wasn't paying attention to this cussing, so I'm not sure if the uh, audio bugged out. Was... Kai of Time saying anything that didn't match with uh, her subtitles? Uh, I don't remember. Okay. Well, let's see if, it, if her dialogue bugs out in this conversation. Yeah! Yep. No, wait, okay. Yeah, no, this bug, okay. Yeah, this, this is part of the bug, yeah. But yeah, can somebody go on TV Tropes for me real quick and see what the deal is with the Japanese trope of woman cooking poison like by accident or not look it up by accident but woman accidentally cooking poison in like attempt to cook real food type trope uh, 
I don't know that it's just Japanese. It happens in sitcoms in America all the time. Yeah. Yeah, but... Oh! It's Good. back! Goodbye, dancing marshmallows. You will be missed. We oh, Rampage blocks. was fun. I like Rampage. Uh, oh, you earned a trophy. Battle of the God concludes. Guru's house is being attacked. Oh, no. New instructors are now available. So what? welcome to the rest of the stream. <laughs> Might be done here shortly. Okay. Shmoogie's favorite all-time game is Ultimate Mortal Kombat. With Scorpioning... With Scorpion... Scorpion... Scorpion. Summing a shit ton of clones to beat the... Three asterisks out of you to kill you. Oh, hey, there's Broly. Yeah. Yeah. You. I should have. Yeah. You've been meeting with Kakarot. I can smell them on you. I'm like a dog. I can smell other Saiyans. <laughs> Fight me, tiny man. Yeah. Fight me small individual that could get lost in my loincloth. Oh my god. Oh build, god! <laughs> you could build a tent out of my butt flap. So, that butt flap he's wearing was... Did that, like, used to be his shirt and he just out-muscled it? Or is that just, like, a weird part of his fashion belt? I think it's just a weird part of his fashion belt. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah. Okay, so, according to Fogriff, according to TV tropes, that trope is called a uh, Lethal Chef. Uh, Karish uh, speculates that it might be going back to the whole women as being witches thing. Uh, and Selfie does link me to the trope page. Oh my god. Ow. Yeah. Eat it. Oh, oh! Oh, son of a bitch! <laughs> ow. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, ow, okay. Ow, Some ow, people ow. cannot cook. They've earned breakfast so ow. bad that you lose use your lunch preemptively. Uh, okay. This is a this is usually a comedy trope in Eastern media. Most examples are female, but there are a ton of male examples in Western media. Uh, tying into the uh, trope ah! to the house. And he's still alive! I mean, to, to be fair, it is Broly. Like, he survived whatever garbage Goku did to him, so... He's probably a strong guy. Does Broly die in the second Broly movie? I don't know. Does Goku show up in either of the Broly movies? I, he does in one, because that podcast you were listening to mentions that Goku punched Broly in his star, and... Apparently that's that was a reason for people to think that Goku cheated and won. The podcast I listened to? Yeah, like months ago, back when we were oh. uh Yeah, back when we were uh testing out Xenoverse One to see if it could stream. Okay. Oh, that was unfortunate for you, bro, like. But yeah, it was like three days after my Dragon Ball Wiki walk. Yeah, because it was the same podcast that kept calling uh, 18 female. And that was just getting on my uh, Oh, nerves. right, I remember that now. Because they keep referring to Krillin as a man, or a guy. But ladies were always females. And, yeah, that, that's just, okay. Castro died. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> hey. I had like three seconds left. But yeah, Fogriff, didn't Castro die like years ago? No. Oh, I, I thought he did. Castro's been... Fidel finally died? Uh, let's see. Deliberately lethal cookery has apparently become a pastime on several video sites, especially in Japan. Nah, I'd still eat it. Uh, apparently it was Fidel Castro. Shmoogie says you should be doing more damage. You're punching Broly in his, uh, in his, uh, junk. Okay, so yeah, now you have to reload the cell. So go do a, a different, like, story mission or side quest or whatever. Um, oh! 
Look, there is a person near the time nest. You should talk to them. Uh, I don't want to. Do it. I don't want to. Get your bag. Oh, look, it's Kid Trunks. From the same planet, it's Piccolo. Kid, that's totally racist. No, it's not. <laughs> I'm half saying I can't be racist. I have to defeat Beerus and Whis. It's easier than beating all the Super Saiyans. Fair. <laughs> God, that fight sucked. Dumbbell says Rivet is pocket sized for Broly. You have not seen Flora. Or Fauna. Rivet and Flora are about the same size. No, Rivet is way taller than Flora. Was he? Yeah. Like, we have encountered, uh, like, oh, average height. Uh, or no, he. Okay, yeah, yeah, I think they are the same height. That, that was really weird to me. That the average height for a uh, Lady uh, Boo was the smallest height for a Namekian. Apparently Namekians are big. Yeah, yeah, they're big. That's why Large is named Large. Uh, okay, uh, Nerdling. Um, yeah, women okay. murderers do usually take a poison, not because it is the less personal route, but because it is the harder to track route, and women are smart. Ow. I, okay, no, I thought you were training with Beerus for a second, I was about to say, well, you have that finger being moved, you can just totally use that on him. I'm afraid. <laughs> Dumbbell says the only time uh, she seen four was when she was a giant projected statue. Wait me a dirtbag, we. Okay. Okay, there is no origin to this, uh, to the lethal chef, uh, trope, with the exception of it is mostly used in. Eastern uh, entertainment or Eastern media. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, Karish says the Poisoner's Handbook is a great documentary on uh, Netflix. Also, I just realized I said uh, oh god, or er, yeah, documentary, not documentary. Oh. oh. Okay, it still stopped like 12 feet away from him. So, so at least it's giving you the illusion that you're going to hit him. Freaking weed. This is a bag. Is that someone like you exists? <laughs> that grapple is fantastic. But yeah, I think Selfie uh, might also be the most right out of any of us involving the uh, so, women use poisoning method of murder, of which oh. is the effort slash suffering ratio makes it very satisfying. Ow. Ow. They beat me, John. Yeah, they did. I somehow skimmed through this on my first try. I, I am moderately certain I had a magic pixel keeping me alive. But yeah, like weirdly enough, well not weirdly enough, but in that fight you want to aim towards Beerus, because Whis is way less offensive. 
But when you're not paying attention to Whis, Whis will backstab you multiple times. Oh, wait. Oh, no, wait, you reloaded the cell. Okay, so Broly should be in the Mushroom Kingdom. But before that, go to Boo's house and turn left towards uh, that that uh, uh, trainer. We've already established you cannot fly around Mount Toki Toki. Yeah, you can. Oh, you can. You can fly far way around and then you get teleported because the back of it's not modeled. Yeah, it is. I tried it again later. <laughs> and there's our buddy! Hi, Turles. <laughs> but yeah, I think that the last time you fought Turles and a Slug on Namek was like the point in the story where they are effectively dead. Because mm. Toa was using life energy at that point to like one-up her regular uh, Berserker magic. And she also combined that with the Tree of Life, uh, or fruit from the Tree of Might. And I think that might have been you killing them. Or she just took their power, you know, like all of their energy using uh, the Majin uh, Tel. Yeah. The Majin Teapot. I'm surprised we didn't fight the two Majin people from the uh, World Tournament. Oh, yeah, the guy that nearly killed Videl and some other dirtbag. Mm hmm. Fires countless homing key blasts. Yeah, that one's not too bad. Like, Turles actually gives you a good set of moves. It helps if I actually, like, yeah. target him. Yeah, first. it would help if you aim the moderately useful moves. Shut up. Wow, good job, dumbbells. Oh. She somehow managed to talk a teacher into watching a, uh, or playing a uh, Jeff Dahmer uh, documentary in, uh... Why can I not pronounce documentary? Uh, and uh, TV on biology, or on TV in biology. Watch. Selfie, when Selfie was a wee lad at the age of six, he would sneak, he would wake up and sneak out at five in the morning to watch dinosaur documentaries. That sounds very Selfie. I still love that Freeze is my mentor. Yeah. I should probably check and see if I... I was about to say, right now you can get a Gohan and Videl as your mentors. Oh? Yeah. They're one of the five dozen mentors that popped up after beating the Boo Saga. Ah. Selfie, when have you ever seen a documentary where a lion stealthily takes down a gazelle in the savannah? Like, there's always butt rock music playing and shaky camera transitions and sound effects. Butt rock music? Butt rock, you know, generic rock. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's butt rock. Okay. Yeah, it's just, it's just like... Generic rock sounding music by band no one has ever heard of, not even the band. Huh. Okay. Yeah. You know, it's a it's video game rock. Like that's huh. basically butt rock. But slight it's slightly above butt rock. I like this map. Up oh, Schmoogie's apparently going to sleep. Good night, Schmoogie. I think I'll finish Turles and then we'll be done. I'll be done. Oh, okay. Uh, but yeah, Karish, um, history and nature are really good uh, documentaries, but I'm also a huge fan of science. Or, uh, like, okay, technology science or, like, space science. Like, those two are among my favorites, along with dinosaur science. Okay, so space, technology, and dinosaurs. Those are my favorite documentaries. Uh, if there was somehow some way to, like, do a documentary about a dinosaur that was brought back using technology and sent into space, that would be the best thing ever. The next Jurassic Park movie should be set on the moon. That'd be a safe spot to actually have the yeah. park. Except yeah, for the whole... But then you'd get to have astronauts fighting dinosaurs. And who has not wanted to see an astronaut fight a dinosaur? I don't know. Oh, 
Okay, Faux Griff has a good plan. Huh. Jurassic Planet. But yeah, like a Jurassic. You just pooped a circle at him. <laughs> Tell me that wasn't amazing. That was fantastic. I'm actually kind of keeping an eye on the stream to see it again. Wonderful. Work like that brings glory to my name. That was just fantastic. I do not like that attack, though. Yeah. Yeah, I... I yeah, I think that's why I said when I was talking to you, like, he has one, like, not okay attack. Like, the rest are pretty fine. Like, Broly gives you a better version of his, uh, infinite shot thingy. Like, it's way more limited, but it hits like a brick. Uh, but yeah, his next move is really good. Is it the, uh... It is Fruit of the Tree of Might. Is it an Awakened skill? Nope, it is a buff. So, yeah, that, that's why I was wondering whether you could stack that on top of your uh, KO Ken. Because if so, that would be a ridiculous buff. Just bruh. Yeah, just be the beefiest rip. Poke! Just, just like... Just like whistle at them and watch as they get ripped apart from the air pressure. Dumbbells, if you can give that, that would be amazing. The, uh, the poop in a circle thing. Uh. Yeah, unfortunately, they like to knock you out of uh, that. Oh, it's using the... Oh my god, Turles, you dirtbag. But yeah, it uses the same icon, though, as uh, the Kale Can, so I don't know if it stacks. Now, now that I see that the icon. Um, dumbbells. I'm fine without text for the uh, for the gif. But if you can think of something appropriately hilarious, that that would be fine. For the what? For you poop in a circle. Oh. You know, and killing Turles with it. Ah, crap! I'm saying his name correctly. I also just love that you have an infinite supply of, uh, fruit of the Tree of Might just in your pants. Or would it be in your shell? It's in my shell. Okay. Yeah, that's where the Ninja, well, the classic Ninja Turtle stored their stuff, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Was that blocking Slug's attack? Yeah, it looks like it did. Oh, that's cool. But yeah, I'm always weirded out by how much the uh, fruit of the tree, of, or yeah, fruit of the tree of might looks like a dog's chew toy, or a Dodoria fruit. That too. Yeah, like I, I see that fruit and it's like, well, Ollie's gonna get superpowers. That is not something that we need. <laughs> no, it is not. The destroyer of worlds just wants his ball. He would destroy a world to get his ball. Yeah. He tried to destroy an ottoman. Oh no! The internet's being dodgy for Selfie. Okay, Selfie, so what you missed was uh, we decided to play Xenoverse 2. <laughs> I think I think Selfie might have seen a little bit more than. Or... <laughs> oh no, sci uh, science! Selfie's uh, stream died like as we were talking about science documentaries. Oh no! Now quick, fruit up! Yeah, Selfie, you were too into a science to, for the stream to handle. <laughs> I also really like this training mission because you don't have to have the buff activated to be Turles. Yeah. Oh. 
I just like that the last two attacks were just like, ah, I'm just gonna wait for him to cut me. Yeah. Oh, you leveled. Because Namekians have like the best throw. They have the longest throw, so we'll give them that. Mwah. But I still think that Lady Boos have the best throw. Nogi, 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 yeah. nogi. Nogi, nogi, kick. And Kid Boos. Because it's also Kid Boos' throw. Because oh, he did yep, that to yep, me more yes, than once is. while he, I was trying to help. Yeah, I think I... Yeah, I pointed that out in his universe one. Yeah. Because Kid Boo loves to throw me. Uh, Arcosians have a pretty strong one, too, where you just strangle them with your tail and then just dismissively spin around and toss them. That, one's, that one is pretty strong. Uh, oh, no, wait, the, the Saiyans have a good one with that little kick combo. I have That weird thrown... grab under your neck? Yeah, like, just the put lady the Saiyans. shoe under the neck and, like, somehow <laughs> throw them around like a rag. I don't know, the physics makes no sense, but it's amusing to watch. I haven't played around with a male Saiyan or a human yet, so Meteor I don't know what they're throwing. Meteor Okay, Meteor Burst is okay. It's kind of awkward if I'm remembering it right. But nowhere near as bad as Girl Beam. Or whatever final attack it is that Pan gives you. Girl Beam? Yeah, it's not well named. Okay. I think that ball might be the hitbox. I've, I've forgotten whether or not that attack is actually a beam. But yeah, like, the main pull of that attack is it's a pseudo uh, evasion move. Now, yeah. You blocking sack of dirt! Maiden's Blast! That was it. That's that's a little better. Yeah, that, that's slightly better than Girly Beam. But yeah, I'm very sorely tempted to watch GT mostly based on Pan. Because Pan was cool. Like, screw the Baby Saga all to hell. But Pan was cool. Did Pan ever go Super Saiyan? Um, okay, I was reading the, the, uh, the wiki on her. She did not go Super Saiyan on screen, on screen, but it is, yeah, it is implied that she did at some point. And, if you want to get very technical about it, she went Super Saiyan while everyone was donating their, uh, Saiyan powers to Goku to become Super Saiyan God. So little fetus Pan did go Super Saiyan. Wow, that has a huge hitbox. Now quick, murder him with the ult. <laughs> God, energy charge is such shitty. Uh, it is the worst power. It is only good early game. Oh, you dirtbag! Oh, he was buff. You buff riddle dirtbag! I really like the uh, follow-up uh, for the launch that Namekians have, which is fly in front of them. I'm also a fan of the Arcosians, where it's just, you uppercut them in the gut and you don't stop uppercutting them. Where did he, oh. No. That works. Sure, <laughs> I'll take it. I do not like that attack either. Uh, let's see, Sophie says a Super Saiyan fetus sounds painful. Just practicing Kamehameha's and Gallic Guns on, on our mom's kidneys. Okay, so you said you wanted to stop after uh, finishing off Turla's? Yeah, I think I'm done. Oh, okay. Oh, and uh, I actually sleep. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, there are actually things involving money that both of us need to do tomorrow, so I might actually go to sleep too and uh, not continue the tell of Tabitha. Because if I continue the tell of Tabitha, then I am going to go to sleep roughly 6 a.m. tomorrow night. Or 6 p.m. tomorrow night. Okay, so yeah, you are now an honorary member of the Crusher Corps. Yay. And Frieza's army. And the Ginyu Force. Yay. And Lord Slug's army. Um, and the Cell Games. Uh, are you a, a are you an honorary member of the elite? The elite? Okay, no, you're not because Jacko just showed up. Okay, so wait, where is he? Oh, okay, maybe it's the next story mission. Okay, now Broly is roughly in front of you, somewhere over in that direction. Uh, yeah, hit the. Okay, stop. Okay, okay, so over there by uh, so like right to the. Right there. No, I was I was talking about the map. I was gonna tell you who shows up where. So. Directly to the left of uh, the capsule core, that is Hercule. A little bit diagonal from him, that is Boo. The schoolyard on the building is Beerus. In the courtyard is uh, Gohan and Videl. And the one to the north of them is, uh, yeah, the one to the north of uh, Hercule's house is uh, Gotenks. On top of one of the buildings. And then there's a blue tank. And. Okay, yeah, give me a second, I'm trying to remember. Uh, the leader of the Nuts game. Oh, no, wait, yeah, that's right here. Never mind. Mitsuba? Oh, no, she's the lieutenant. Okay, but yeah, she is a member of the Nuts Gang. So I'm not done with the Nuts Gang yet? No, you still have the lieutenant and the boss. But yeah, uh, Jacko shows up to the south of, uh, of Hercule. And, <clears throat> oh, God. Future Sama. Okay. And, uh... Huh? He's just a big human. He's a big man. And uh, there was another trainer that shows up before Goku, and I had forgotten who that was. Actually, yeah, let's check the uh, let's check the trainer menu. <laughs> okay, so Boo, Hercule, Gohan, and Videl, uh, Go Tanks, Broly, uh, Pan, Beerus, Pan, uh, Jocko. Jacko. And Goku. And Goku. Okay, yeah, Pan was who I'm thinking of. Pan shows up after the next story. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Fighting Beerus and finishing off his little side quest. That is actually the last piece of the story we can actually broadcast. But yeah, like, doing that gets you Pan and, uh, uh, Jacko. And then you will have all the, uh, all the trainers unlocked. Yay. And then we will finish off all the trainers, and since and then Rob will probably beat the game on his own time because can't beat it here. Uh, but yeah, then next yeah then after Rob beats uh, this next time he will uh, play a new mystery game, and it's gonna be damp and kind of so dank, damp and dank. Also, it took. Kermite. Oh, that's fantastic. Also, it took me like four times running past Udo back there to realize that his name was a play on Udon. Shungi. 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 Shungi likes mushrooms. Beefy old man. Shungi forgot my pants. Oh, that would be weird if someone just talks themselves in the first and third person, but interchanges it in the sentence. Oh, that would be super weird. Uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, people are talking about devil children. Uh, uh, no, Selby, it is not Dank Souls. It might be wet so or damp souls, but it might, but it's not uh, dank souls. Uh, but yeah, those are your only clues to a uh, mystery game part two, well part three. It's 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 be pretty shocking. Yeah, it's deep, it's dank, and it's damp. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and end this here since Rob is just putzing around and grabbing stuff. Uh, next stream will be tomorrow afternoon. To some point in time, 
It'll be start around one o'clock. Start around one. Uh, is it gonna start with a Dragon Ball or a Tale of Tabitha? Uh, I got some stuff in Tale of Tabitha that I'm willing to show people. Very shiny, very loud things. <laughs> What's this person want? Oh, I think he gives you stuff for a Mr. Okay. Shape Up. Or a power capsule. Yep, power capsule. Oh no, if only you had a power capsule. S. Oh, what well, was him? He shall never get it. Sends you a sprout. Yeah, he gives you a significantly better item in return. <laughs> Thank you, my short and turtle shell wearing friend. I will never forget this. Beep, boop, beep. <laughs> That's why Rivet's quiet in all the scenes. Ah, he can only speak in binary. And he realizes that nobody else can speak that, so he just doesn't say anything. Ein. Hello. Ah. <laughs> uh. All right. But yeah. Uh, good night, people. Good night. No. Bye. Beep.